Nino Brown Boxing and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So I'm back home, back on the East Coast. Had a good vacation in Maui. A lot of boxing went down when I was out of town. Um, I planned on dropping a lot more videos when I was over there in Maui, but the six hour time difference made it a little difficult and I was enjoying myself. So I decided, you know what? I'll wait until I get home. Yes, I watched boxing. Um, yes, I saw the Aleda Alvarez victory over Sergey Kovalev. I saw the um, Andre Bredo fight against uh, Devin Alexander. I saw Peter Quillen and Jaleon Love. Yes, I've definitely been tuning into boxing while I was on vacation. I just wasn't able to drop videos like I wanted to. But the fight that meant the most to me over this past week was definitely the Kovalev versus the later Alvarez fight. Now, by this point, I'm recording this video Tuesday morning. I believe it's August 7th. But by this point, the um, we all know what happened. Kovalev, he got knocked out. The later Alvarez went in there. He did his thing. He crushed the crusher and became the new WBO light heavyweight champion of the world. Now, I've obviously heard a lot of videos, a lot of post-fight reactions, a lot of what's next for a later Alvarez talk. And a lot of people seem to be on this common trend that a later Alvarez should go after Dimitri Bivol. And me, I personally, I disagree 100%. Kovalev, I mean, a later Alvarez, he already slayed the giant. And... Sergey Kovalev. So why should he go after Dmitry Bivlinex when you have two champions and Dmitry Bivol being the WBA champion and you have Arthur Badabiv being the IBF champion? Those two guys need to unify. And in the meantime, if I'm a later Alvarez, I'm trying my best to get a fight with Adonis Stevenson. I said it because these guys, you know, they're all countrymen being better beef, uh, Demetrius Bevel and Kovalev. None of them will fight each other. So trying to pass Bevel off and pretending like um, I'm the better beef not over there carrying around that IBF belt, I think it's completely ridiculous. You know, why does um why does the lady Alvarez have to take the role with the most resistance when you had guys in his division that were champions before him that weren't really, you know, they're not willing to fight one another. He should go back to the drawing board and figure out what is the best way for him to fight Adonis Stevenson um, in a big unification bout in Canada. They should just try to put it together and make that go down. Now, we all understand the difficult part with that is Adonis Stevenson is a person he's a person that's difficult to do negotiation with. Yes, I understand that Demetrius Bivol just fought. I understand that Arthur better be, if I'm not mistaken, he has a fight coming up in October. So all of this stuff will most likely take place in 2019. But last I checked, it's also other guys in the light heavyweight division that Elena Alvarez can go after. You know, I, based off the the current state in the light heavyweight division does not include Andre Ward. Aleda Alvarez did the unthinkable. You know, he's not some, at this point in his career, he's not a Hall of Famer, pound for pounder, like um, Andre Ward was. And no one, and I mean no one, said that they saw this happening when it comes to anyone at that weight class. So, Aleda Alvarez was able to get the work done. It's a motorcycle driving past me. It's, Aleda Alvarez was able to get this work done and he should go out to the WBC strap and Adonis Stevenson. He should, you know, fight in, in America, build his name some more, and let those two guys fight one another. I mean, I understand that you can't make someone unify. I get that. But at the same time, at the same time, it's like 
you shouldn't have to um Atlanta Alvarez shouldn't have to knock off all of these Russian cats when they're not fighting one another. Another thing about it that's annoying me, it comes with the whole WBA thing. Now, the idea popped in my head, so I did not look into it at all, but I'm sure that the WBA has Demetrius, Dimitri Bivol as their super champ and not their regular champ. And to me, the inconsistency with the WBA and the way that they're handling this super belt is actually, it's very annoying for the simple fact, you know, you can have a champion in recess, you can have a regular champion, you can have a super champion, but I thought the sole purpose of the super champion was to unify. Now, it seemed like the WBA should start putting pressure on these WBA super champions that aren't willing to unify. And if they're not willing to unify, you know, you should strip those guys of their super status and elevate you will ship those guys of the super status and um tell the regular champion that they'll be elevated to super status if they're willing to unify but guys just sitting back not trying to do much with these WA, WBA super belts is meant for unification they definitely shouldn't hold these titles but yeah guys that's just my take on the light heavyweight division right now just a quick video um I'll come back with another one soon. This is Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.